This is done by the uh, same guy who did uh, Ira Keller. Did what? Ira Keller. Yeah, I do, don't I? Oh yeah, up in. Just don't get too wet because we don't have any towels with this. It doesn't look too deep. Shall we find out? I'll pass. It's too cold for you, huh? Too cold? Okay. By my standards, I'm used to 80 degrees. <laughs> yeah. You have to put these tabs on, keep the uh, skateboarders away. Nah, <laughs> eh, it's not all that cold. Oh, cute, a water bug. Huh? Cute, a water bug. Come see Dave. Okay, it's deeper than it looks. It's up to my knees. Do I want to know where there's an oil slick on the water? Oh, I saw the water bug. Huh? Not too many people know this is even here. What you, what did you wear those for? I thought they were sandals. Because I was an yeah, idiot. Why don't, why don't you hand them to me and we'll Because take I can't out. walk around in the butt. Okay. okay. All right. And yeah, that's not going to ruin them, is it? Okay. Did you like those shoes? Let's see. Show me your feet. Back in the 70s, there was a lot of government money for odd projects. And there was a guy who thought that it would be really cool to have uh, urban areas of water for people to play in. And the city immediately said, after they were all built, you can't have anybody in here. And so um, the uh, local news says, oh yeah? And so they got the reporters together and hundreds of people all came out and got into fountains and the city never complained or never went back on its decision. They just decided, okay, never mind, you guys win. <laughs> Have they ever been sued or anything? No. People getting hurt in the fountain? No. Okay. If they did, they'd probably change them to being dry and no longer rotate the water. Now, sometimes they do dry it out. This is kind of known as a really ugly gazebo. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, this is called the Lovejoy Fountain. Oops, wrong way. There we go. This looks really deep to me.
certainly looks that way. Obviously someone's excited to be here. to get up there, but it looks just a little unsafe. Those aren't really steps. I mean, they're very narrow. Okay, I'm gonna set the camera down for a sec. What? Yeah, there's a lot of them, aren't there? How often do you see pigeons flying? A little bit. In the park areas you do. Not very often. There's an owl up there. Or at least a plastic one. It's a plastic one. Where'd it go? There it is. Keep the pigeons from uh, flying up there. Mm -hmm. And pooping all over us. Yeah, no pooping, please. No pooping. I wanted to climb up here, but it looks a little dangerous. I mean, the steps are like this wide. So? Well, you know, I have one hand with my camera. And... No, it's okay. <laughs> it's easier for him. Yes. Yeah, you young show-offs. <laughs> Good job. What's up there? Water. <laughs> I was going to say concrete, but okay. I think the reason not so many people so use this place is it's too hard to get to. Difficult to get to, without and there's no parking hurt. near. Yeah. What? He said it would be difficult to jump from there and down without yeah. getting hurt. Oh, oh dang. I have had to do that before, but. Dang. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Let me get one more shot. Exactly the right shoes. I know. Oh well. I'll take off my shoes. Okay. 